Do you know the healthiest ways to cook your meals? In the vast world of culinary arts, the way we cook our food can drastically impact its nutritional value. It's not just about what you eat, but also how you cook it. Today, we're going to explore some of the healthiest methods to prepare both vegetables and meats, unlocking their full nutritional potential without the addition of unhealthy fats or excessive calories. We'll be looking at various techniques, from steaming and boiling to grilling, roasting, baking, and stir-frying for vegetables. For meats, we'll delve into grilling, baking, roasting, broiling, poaching, and steaming. All these methods have their unique benefits and can help to preserve the nutrients in your food, enhancing the taste while keeping things healthy. So, buckle up for a culinary journey that's as enlightening as it is delicious. Stay tuned as we delve into these cooking methods one by one to help you make the most nutritious meals. Let's start with one of the best ways to preserve nutrients, steaming. When you steam vegetables or meats, you're using the heat from steam to cook your food quickly. This method does not submerge the food in water, which is a huge plus, because it helps to keep those essential nutrients right where we want them. In our food, not down the drain. Now, let's talk flavor. Steaming also does a fantastic job at retaining the natural flavors of your food. Picture biting into a perfectly steamed broccoli florette that bursts with vibrant, fresh flavor. Or imagine a piece of tender, juicy chicken that's been steamed to perfection, its natural taste shining through. It's not just about health, it's also about the joy of tasting food as it's meant to be. So the next time you're thinking of a healthy meal, steam your food to lock in those nutrients. Moving on to boiling and grilling, two common methods with a healthy twist. Let's dive into boiling first. When we boil vegetables, we're immersing them in hot water. This method can be healthy, but bear in mind that some nutrients may leach into the water. So a pro tip to retain more nutrients is to use minimal water and avoid overcooking. The key is to aim for tender crisp vegetables that are brightly colored and full of flavor. You'll know they're ready when they're easily pierced with a fork but still hold their shape. Now let's flip over to grilling. Grilling imparts a delicious smoky flavor to both vegetables and meats without needing to add extra fats. For vegetables, it's as simple as tossing them in a smidge of healthy oil like olive or avocado oil and placing them on a hot grill. Meats on the other hand benefit from the open flame as excess fat can drip away resulting in a lower fat content. However, grilling comes with a cautionary tale. Be mindful of charring, as it can create potentially harmful compounds. To prevent this, avoid direct flame contact and remove any visible charred portions before eating. Grilling meats can be a healthful endeavor as well. The trick is to choose lean cuts and marinate them in herbs, spices, or citrus juices instead of sugary sauces. This not only enhances flavor, but also reduces calorie and sodium intake. So whether you're boiling broccoli or grilling a lean steak, remember that the way you cook can make a big difference in the nutritional value of your meal. It's not just about what you eat, but also how you prepare it. In the end, the goal is to enjoy food that's both nutritious and delicious. And with these tips in mind, you're well on your way to achieving that. Remember, minimal water for boiling and cautious grilling can help keep your meals healthy and delicious. Ever thought about the health benefits of roasting, baking, or stir-frying your food? Roasting and baking are two cooking methods that can truly bring out the natural sweetness and flavors in both vegetables and meats. When it comes to vegetables, roasting them in the oven with a small amount of healthy oil, like olive oil or avocado oil, can enhance their taste while keeping nutrient loss to a minimum. The process is simple. Preheat your oven, toss your veggies in a bit of oil, spread them out on a baking sheet and let them roast until they're tender and slightly caramelized. For meats, roasting and baking allow the excess fat to drip away. This method requires little to no added fats, making it a healthier option compared to frying or sauteing. To roast or bake meat, simply place it on a roasting rack inside a roasting pan, allowing the fat to drip off while it cooks. The result? Tender, flavorful meat that's lower in fat content. Now let's stir things up a bit and talk about stir-frying. This method is particularly effective for cooking vegetables quickly while retaining their nutrients and flavors. In a hot pan or wok, you'll want to keep your veggies moving. That's where the stir in stir-fry comes from. By moving them around constantly, they cook quickly and evenly. And since you're using a small amount of oil, you're not adding unnecessary fats. Remember, the key to stir-frying is to keep everything sizzling. If your food starts to steam instead of fry, it might mean your pan is too crowded. So give your veggies the space they need to get that perfect sear. Whether it's roasting, baking, or stir-frying, each of these methods can contribute to healthier, more flavorful meals. 
They allow you to enjoy the natural tastes of your food, cut down on unhealthy fats, and keep those all-important nutrients intact. And the best part? You don't need to be a master chef to use them effectively. Now you know how roasting, baking, and stir-frying can make your meals not just tasty but also nutritious. Let's talk about broiling and poaching, two methods that are great for lean cuts of meat. When it comes to cooking meat without adding excessive fats, broiling is an excellent choice. Picture grilling, but instead of an open flame, the heat is coming from above. This method involves cooking meat under direct heat in the oven. The high heat quickly sears the outside of the meat, locking in the juices and delivering a deliciously caramelized crust. Moreover, just like grilling, broiling allows excess fat to drip away, leaving you with a leaner, healthier piece of meat. But remember, broiling requires close attention to prevent burning, so keep a watchful eye on your culinary masterpiece. Now, let's turn our attention to poaching. Poaching might not sound as glamorous as broiling, but it's a star in its own right when it comes to healthy cooking. This method involves gently simmering meat in liquid, usually water or broth, until it's fully cooked. The key word here is, gently. A rolling boil is not your friend while poaching. The gentle heat helps retain the meat's moisture, making it tender and juicy without the need for added fats. Poaching is particularly perfect for delicate meats like fish and chicken, as the liquid imparts subtle flavors without overpowering the meat's natural taste. It's also a fantastic way to infuse your meat with the flavors of any herbs, spices, or aromatics you include in the poaching liquid. So, don't hesitate to get creative with your combinations. In both broiling and poaching, the goal is to cook the meat quickly and efficiently without relying on additional fats. These methods allow the natural flavors of the meat to shine through, all while maintaining a healthy profile. Just remember, regardless of the method, the key to healthy cooking lies in moderation. Avoid overcooking to preserve the nutritional value and taste. So, broiling and poaching are your go-to methods for cooking lean cuts of meat healthily. Now that we've covered the healthiest cooking methods, let's go over some general tips to keep in mind. First off, when it comes to fats, not all are created equal. While cooking, it's essential to opt for healthier options. Olive oil, avocado oil, and coconut oil are excellent choices. These oils are rich in beneficial monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, which are known to support heart health. So, next time you're reaching for that bottle of oil, make sure it's one of these heart-friendly options. Secondly, it's all about balance when it comes to added sugars and salts. While they can enhance the taste of your food, excessive consumption can lead to various health issues, including high blood pressure and heart disease. So, try to keep these additives to a minimum. A good rule of thumb is to taste your food before reaching for the salt shaker or sugar jar. You might find that it's already flavorful enough. Speaking of flavor, let's not forget about herbs, spices, and citrus juices. These natural flavor enhancers not only add a burst of flavor to your meals, but also come with their own set of health benefits. For example, herbs like rosemary and thyme are packed with antioxidants, while spices like turmeric and cinnamon have anti-inflammatory properties. Citrus juices such as lemon and lime can add a refreshing tanginess to your dishes and are a great source of vitamin C. Lastly, remember not to overcook your vegetables and meats. Overcooking can lead to a loss of essential nutrients, turning your healthy meal into a less nutritious one. Aim to cook them until they are just tender. This will ensure that they retain their nutritional value and also result in a better texture and flavor. With these tips, you're well on your way to cooking healthier meals that don't compromise on flavor. So there you have it, the healthiest ways to cook your meals. From steaming your veggies to retain maximum nutrients, to boiling them with minimal water to prevent nutrient loss, we've explored grilling for that delightful smoky flavor without the extra fats and the precautions to take to avoid charring. We've also looked at roasting or baking vegetables in the oven with a dash of healthy oil to bring out their natural sweetness and flavors, as well as stir-frying in a hot pan for a quick and nutrient-rich meal. For meats, we've discussed grilling, baking, broiling, poaching, and steaming, each with its own unique benefits of reducing fat content, retaining natural flavors and moisture, and cooking lean cuts quickly. And let's not forget those general tips, using healthy fats, minimizing added sugars and salts, flavoring with herbs and spices, and avoiding overcooking. Remember, incorporating these methods and tips into your cooking routine can greatly improve the nutritional value of your meals. Happy healthy cooking!